Alan came to Cheshire Home in 2005. Uh, he's a physiotherapist and he worked with us for a couple of months at Cheshire Home and when he went home he began to raise money for projects that we're doing around this area. Well done. Good. Yeah. Yeah. All the money for the projects for the wells down on the Makolo, for the borehole here, for the one at the basic school, for the one down at Manimbini. For the houses that you have seen people building around the place also, all of this money has come from this school. All right, all money. I spent three months there in 2005, and I lived and breathed the struggles of these people. Wonderful people um, who I connected deeply with. I just believe that there's such a, a sense of injustice in the world. I don't think it's fair that people in certain countries and certain continents have to endure so much poverty, hunger, and we so much excess. My heart breaks when I see children coming in so malnourished. I held a, a child in the yard one day. The child was like um, five months, six month old baby. And the father of the baby said, no, the child is seven years old. So the child was, was so malnourished, it was the size of about five, six month old baby. The four people that had come in with the baby, they had walked for three days, and they were actually not able to stand up with weakness. The baby died, the child died. Now that breaks my heart. Some of the kids I worked with as a physiotherapist had severe disabilities. And Cathy, every year, has 75 or 80 kids in her home, provides surgery, she provides food, she provides accommodation. And it's amazing to see the smile when they actually take the first step and when they get the wheelchair. It's like a miracle and it's, it's very emotional to see a child who has come into us maybe at 10 years old uh, who has never stood up before and they walk across the yard to you by the end of term and they go home wearing a pair of shoes and go to school from there. They have very little but they just appreciate everything they have. Sister Cathy was doing tremendous work with them, a wonderful nun. And the same with Sister Molly. 200 orphan vulnerable children in her care. You're a beautiful baby, say hello. You have a dirty nose now after having your bath. When she started the school under a palm tree, thanks to the people of Ireland, now 800 kids go to school. And they love to go to school. And they love song and they, lo and they love dance. Now, they have the same dreams we have to become teachers, singers, dancers, sports stars. But unfortunately, the facilities and structures aren't there. And that's why we're there, to provide these kids with these opportunities and facilities. And these are the best children I've ever seen, aren't you? You're the best children in the whole And I see world. and I've experienced the wonderful love and support Sister Molly and Sister Cathy have provided these vulnerable children, be it disabled, be it orphaned. And it's, it's a privilege to see what they do. But they're struggling. They're donor dependent. So we exist to help them. Without the help we get from donors, these children would probably be dead now. <laughs> Isn't that right? Yeah. It can be something as simple as a crutch or a wheelchair. We are starting sport programs, we're starting a sports centre. Even Alan Stars has started the soccer team in Kayoma for the, for the Boys Town. They've started doing theatre and they won a prize for the best dance in Lusaka there recently with bare feet dancers. So that's why we do what we do. Also, Cathy and Molly have housing programmes, water and sanitation programmes and agricultural programmes that we fund and help them get off the ground. Again, because I believe everyone has the right to food to water, to shelter. Simple, basic things that we take for granted. But I believe that we're making a difference. You know, I honestly believe that we're, in some small way, changing the lives of vulnerable children and vulnerable people and vulnerable communities in Mangu and Kayoma. Our motto is a hand up, not a hand out. We believe that if we provide the kids and empower them and the communities and their families with skills and opportunities and enterprises, 
they can fend for themselves, that they're not dependent on us. And it's all about education, giving them skills, and giving them the confidence, and giving them the love and attention. So they have the confidence to go out and, and, and enter the world where they can believe they can fend for themselves and, and live a dignified life.